Uh, but if, if you're just like, well, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm 65 or whatever, I retire and you're sitting all day in your chair watching TV, like you said, mm, well, then I'm going to guarantee you that within five to 10 years, you're done. Yeah. But I, I'm i very inspired by, look at interviews with David Edinburgh, the guy's in his 90s. Yeah, I, 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 I've heard Incredible. podcasts yeah. with, with professors who were in the 90s and said, no, I finished, there's another book. Yeah, This morning I was listening to an interview with Ken Wilbur, he, he's the guy about in, integral theory. He, he said he's 74 and he he's writing new books all the time. So that doesn't mean is it that all these things is like that's what you and me and and a younger person can do. Yeah, we 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 see now dementia with people in their fifties. But if 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 you live like like a plant, you do nothing all day, whatever, or sitting behind your screen. Yeah, then for sure something nasty will happen. But the good news is there's a lot in, in your control which you can do. But you need to do it from a young age, as young as possible. If, if, if you haven't followed your curiosity, if you haven't learned anything new since you left school and now you're in your 60s, and when I say, well, you got you know, you to learn new stuff or whatever, well, then it is very hard, if not impossible. If you never exercised and you're in your 50s, whatever, and someone says, well, you need to exercise, whatever. It's like, hmm? So it's also about from a young age, build up those habits because they're also habits. And if you build up those habits, it's very easy to continue doing that. 